Well, now we get to the musical ensemble. We're talking about the 11 Pipers Piping. What do they stand for? What could 11 mean? Well, in the 12 days of Christmas, the 11 Pipers stand for the 11 faithful apostles. Those 11 who, while not betraying Jesus, they did run away. Remember, in the Garden of Gethsemane, after Judas betrayed the Lord for that sack of silver coins, when they came to arrest him, the apostles fled. What do you mean, faithful apostles? There's only one at the cross, John, holding Mary and trying to comfort her. But at the end of the day, after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to those eleven and reminded them that they were not worth their fear alone or the betrayal alone, and called them to renewed commitment, called them to know forgiveness and mercy. That's why we don't have a St. Judas. Judas despaired. Judas thought he couldn't be forgiven and unfortunately took his own life because of it. But the other 11 didn't fall into that despair. They were sad, they knew what they did was wrong, but they were also reconciled because they were open to it. They weren't worth the weight of their sin. Neither are we. In this new year, maybe we can make a commitment to go to confession more regularly, every month, every other month. Maybe we haven't been in decades. That's fine. Come home to the sacrament of peace and mercy. Come and be known as a faithful one again. There's no judgment in the confessional. Only joy. We don't play judge during execution or as a priest. It's a place of reconnection to God. What was broken is now mended. Know of my prayers for all of you as we continue to walk in this new year of grace 2022. And may we be faithful. Even though we'll fall like the apostles did, may Christ pick us back up and remind us of our true worth and of our mission to spread his name to the ends of the earth. A continued Merry Christmas to you all. Oh